Hi guys, welcome to A Hate Math Group. In this video, we're gonna learn liquidity ratios. But first, what do they do? Basically, these ratios show you the ability of the company to pay its short-term obligations. Let's talk about a couple of concepts before we do the formula. First of all, current asset. Very important. You need to know that they are located on the balance sheet. Also, they are listed by liquidity. That is, the reason why cash is the first one. Have you noticed that the cash is always on the top? Well, because it's one of the most liquid current assets. Also, the most common current assets are going to be cash, short-term marketable investments, receivables, and inventory. Let's talk about current liabilities. They are basically also located on the balance sheet. These are the ones that are due in less than a year. For example, accounts payables, notes payables, and accrued expenses. So now let's talk about benchmarking. Sometimes when you're doing a financial analysis and you're doing um, this, you know, this ratios analysis, a lot of students ask me, oh, what is a good number? You really don't know what is a good number. That is why we do what, we, what is called benchmarking. It is the process to compare a business performance with the in industry ratios. Let's say that I have a brownie store and I want to compare if my brownie store is doing well. Well, I need to go to my competitor and I need to look at the industry to figure it out if my ratios are good. I cannot go ahead and compare with someone like Facebook because that's a service and I'm providing something that I'm selling. So liquidity ratios. Let's do the formula. Basically, the current ratio. This is current assets over current liabilities. Again, there is not really a good number to know if your current ratio of your company is good, but something is very important. You always want the top to be bigger than the bottom. For example, 2 over 1 is equals to 2. That is good, right? Because that means that you have more assets than liabilities. If you had 1 over 2, basically the opposite, that is not good. That means that you have more current liabilities than current assets. So you basically want a current ratio that is greater than 1 because that tells you that you have more assets than liabilities. Now, the quick or acid test ratio. This is basically almost the same formula. The only thing is that you're going to take the inventory away. So why do you want to do that? Well, sometimes the inventory might not sell right away. So this is actually a quick, and that's what is called quick, uh, test ratio to figure it out how good, you know, how is the company able to pay its short-term obligations without relying on the inventory. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and watch our other videos. And also, thanks so much for learning.